Hi everyone. All right. I want to welcome you to my little corner where there's no way to do it wrong. You cannot scrapbook wrong. You cannot make embellishments wrong. There's no wrong way because if you like it, it's right. That's just how I see it. And that's the concept we go on on this, this little adventure. I want to thank everyone for being here. If it's your first time, I would be very honored if you'd like and subscribe. And anything I talk about, I will put the links down below so that you can reference it, check out other YouTubers and where I got my inspiration and so on and so forth. Okay, so today we're going to do a layout and I'm going to still be playing with the Let It Snow. I've used this in the past. It's January and you guys all know if you've been watching me that I am working with my winter and this happens to be the, um, the collection I'm working with. I'm about, what would I say? I'm almost, I've only got like four papers left of this mega bundle. Yeah, because I decided to do the four by four series with Miss Janet Madison. Now, saying that, I will definitely put that link below. If you do not follow her on Patreon, it is $1 a month. And I promise you, you will go to the dollar store this next few weeks and you will spend more than a dollar and not get as much satisfaction as you will if you follow Miss Janet Madison and RTS scrapbooking. She is awesome. Okay, with that said, um, it, um, it inspired me to try to get a bunch of layouts done. And so what I am doing today and over the next three layout videos, I am going to do her series that she did over Christmas. So, and then after that, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do the fall series again because I am determined to get at least, at least a layout done a day. And the fastest way I know to do that is to do her four by four series and just pop them out. But what I'm going to do is I am going to do the layout somewhat ahead and then we're gonna embellish it together. So I don't know that this is really technically a layout process video because I already did the work. And if you guys wanna um, have some inspiration for the same type of layout, definitely go check her out. Okay, so we know we're using the Let It Snow and here's what I got going on. Now this was layout um, one in her Christmas 4 by 4 series of this um, past year, 2021. And um, I actually did not use all of the cuts. I used three out of the four cuts, but that's okay because it ended up, I ended up getting six layouts out of her four by four layout series. So that's cool. Then I decided what photos I was gonna use and this is why I love this because I will literally do this like this. Now I know this is not how she meant for it to be, but I will do the series and I will pick my pictures and put them with her cut video. Now, if you've watched that, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you haven't, she will take four pieces of paper and she cut, creates four um, cuts on each piece of paper and then she sorts them out in a beginning video before she starts the series. Well, when I do that, I decide ahead of time what pictures I'm going to use. Then when I watch her process video, put the page together, I decide if I'm going to use all of the cuts or I adapt it to what I want to do, which is what you see here. I've already, I did mat mine and I did put a wood grain. Um, and then the rest were from the Let It Snow collection from Echo Park, the bu mega bundle that I showed in the beginning. Um, these pictures are of mailing day. Um, when I lived in the RV park, cause our house sold so fast and we had to live in our RV for seven months. And it had snowed. As you can see, there are some snowflake pictures. And that was my car. <laughs> There's the mail. <laughs> and then this is how I had to dig out. <laughs> so, you know what? I love doing the swaps on the Facebook Love RTS where we follow Janet Madison. And this is something that I want to document document because it's a big part of my life now. I mean, it wasn't when I started, it just started as something fun, but literally every day I speak to at least one person from that Facebook group. 
And I have made some very close friends virtually from that group and I just feel blessed and it's part of my life. So I chose to do this layout for me. It will probably go in mom's album because I do have my own and it will be something special to me. My kids all know I do this. They all tease me about it. My husband teases me how much mail I get. And in this particular day, my entire dash was full from coming to the going to the post office because when we lived at the um, RV park, I had to run to the little post office at the RV park. So hence, post office run. And I had to do it every single day because I would get so much mail for the swap that it wouldn't fit in our tiny little slot. Like literally it was this big. So I didn't want the ladies at the um, RV office to get upset with us. So I, I made sure I went every day. And this day it was challenging. I did not like driving in the snow. Everyone, I live in Texas now. This is February. Here in Texas, it will probably be like 75 degrees next month. I don't know, but it will not look like this. <laughs> so this is in Colorado, before, right before we moved to Texas. And so, yeah, let's let's just play. I pulled out some embellishments. Um, some are swap embellishments because I always have my tea after. This was from the... Um, coffee swap. I believe it was the first main swap we ever did. Not 100% sure. I have a few little goodies on some wax paper that I pulled out of my binder. A little envelope, a little postcard, a squirrel and a bunny. I pulled the bunny because we would see a bunny all the time whenever we would go walk our dog. Um, and then this um, is a little mug. These, I believe they're Peggy's and um, I'm not sure which swap they came from. I had them sitting out and they're little polar bears and I like bears so that's what I'm gonna do. I have my snowflakes that I had cut because you know winter themes right now. This one is from Glorian and I thought it was a little car. It was cute. Now that I look at it it's probably the wrong color red but it's still cute. Um, This is from Terry. A swap that she used to put her embellishments on and I just kept the back because I like this and let's see what else do I got in here I try to use my swaps especially when I'm filming goodies because I want you guys to know that if you do it this is how I use them and I hope you'll use them too because while I want everyone to do the swap I don't want you to get a whole bunch of embellishments and not know what to do with them right so then this one is from Elida um, she was part of the COVID pandemic swap and this time in Colorado, it was crazy. Like Colorado, it's like California and everything was shut down. Literally everything, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. So we are gonna stick some of those embellishments in there. These are from Sherry, some more COVID swap embellishments. Um, and I believe, I don't know who these are from. I know I didn't make them. I know it's some beautiful, I can tell it's a basil cardstock, but I couldn't, it was in my coat my COVID area of my binder, but I don't know who made them. So if you made them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have your name on them. Odds are you had something else with them and I already used it. Uh, just a little tag. Let's see, these are Michelle's, a hand sanitizer. What else do we got here? Some more snowflakes from Margaret and my little snowman I just made. I thought I'd just leave those in there. So we're just gonna play and see where it goes from here. Okay, so I know this is where I want my title. Obviously, I will put it on there straight. It's on wax paper right now. And forgive me, I should have cut, we'll put this there. This is where I'm gonna journal. It's not straight, it's a scrap sitting on my, um, sitting on my desk, yeah. I don't wanna lose this one. That one is how I mark my pins from my beautiful close to my heart rep. Okay, so let's see here. I know I'm going to have that and I know I want a mug. Who, who made this one? Let's see here. Um. Oh, I can't, Martinez. I don't know how to say the first name, so forgive me. I like that because it kind of looks like a cup of tea because I'm not a coffee drinker, but I am a tea drinker. I wish I was a coffee drinker but I'm not. It tastes bitter to me. Does anybody else have that problem? Okay, 
I call it a problem because I feel like I'm being left out. Like people, <laughs> people love coffee and I don't. Is that weird? Oh, this one is from Denise Phillips. How cute is this little snowman? Like it is seriously adorable. I think though that this one might be too big and I don't want to tuck it in and take away from all the pretty. So I'm going to set that in the no pile. This is the matey. I know I want a mug. Whose is this one? Oh, I don't have a name on this one. Okay, I'm going to take this off because that will always go on top. Let's see here. It's either going to be this one or it's going to be the green one. I kind of like that. I'm going to put, even though this is crooked and it's just a scrap, I don't want to overdo it. Okay, and all I'm going to journal is how joyous this is to me and so on and so forth. Maybe this one instead? Hmm. Definitely cute. Let's go with that for now. Now my idea is that I'm gonna do a nice cluster here with my title, and then I'm gonna have a small cluster and a small cluster. So I would have my triangle in this manner. So we'll see if that actually works or if it doesn't. I don't know, but we can try. Pretty snowflake. And the snowflake can go over the photo. That's okay with me. It almost looks like a little tea bag to me. That's why I like it. Mm. Yeah, I'm good with that so far. We'll see if it change. Let's see. And when we go to the post office, I love this because it says, please wait here. And literally at the post office in Colorado, it had these little footprints. It really did. So I'm thinking maybe here. I don't know. Maybe we'll do over here. I just feel like I'm kind of, I think I'm going to choose this one because of the yellow envelopes. And that could be my cluster base there. So I always do like a cluster base. So I know I have a snowflake here. So let me put a big snowflake here. Right. Okay. And the reason I'm doing snowflakes is because this is such a nice close up. You can see the actual shape of the snowflakes. Um, so I'll go there. This one. I could even maybe line this up this way so I get more room. There's always, always more room for embellishment. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, maybe I could tuck in another snowflake. Okay, I'm liking that. Little well, bunny, I'd really like to get him in here because we would see him, he would hide under my car. And he's a little shiny, so I'm sorry if he glares a little bit. Let's see. Definitely need, we most definitely need some type of, like that? Hmm. I'm thinking the snowflake needs to come out just a hair. There we go. Kind of wish I had a red snowflake. I don't think I, I know I don't, but I feel like that would tie it all together. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. What else do I have in here? The little mask. Where would my title sit? Like, where are we at here? Oh, see, I got to move all this. Let's just pull him over here. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to. I will make that fit in there when I take it off the wax reaver. Hmm, not in that one. Maybe not the bunny. Maybe I should do these polar bears. Oh, I know what we should do. Okay, looky here. We're gonna use this pretty green because it matches the, isn't this crazy how that is almost identical. And there's green here in the mittens. That's why I'm using the green. So like, in this mitten paper from the um, Let It Snow. So I can totally take two different swaps and make a cluster that works for me on this layout. 
Think outside of the box. This is how we can use what I, we have and all of these beautiful things that people have created for us. I'm gonna kind of, I don't know that that's gonna fit in there, but definitely so far, I like that. The, and I'm uh, kind of wanting something right here just to kind of, maybe another snowflake? Maybe I can use one of these pretty ones that Margaret, I don't even know that these are actually snowflakes. Um, I think she even sent these to me as just a gift. Could be wrong. Don't, don't quote me on that. But um, they're so delicate and just gorgeous. I'm almost wondering, and they have like a shimmer to them. Almost uh, off-white like the tag here. So I'm thinking... And when I put all this together, I never make it permanent. I just don't because I don't know what I'm going to tuck where. And see, to me, that's what it needed. It just needed a little something, something. And I think last but not least, let's see, where's some of those COVID things I got going on? Some more Michelle's here. Okay. Okay. I don't need the toilet paper. The hand sanitizer is too big, but I think I will definitely put this here somewhere and I will probably pop it up on foam tape. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stick one on there so I don't forget because I'll take a photo and I'll space it out. I'd have to, I literally the other day had to watch my video <laughs> to see what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, that's just too much, isn't it? Okay. All right. So there's that. Now, I definitely want this small one here because at this point, I need to put, I want, don't need to, I don't have to do anything to be honest. Just like that, just like this. Here we go. And I think in this one, I might do that. Let's see, maybe a little squirrel. Hmm. I don't know, maybe a squirrel will go up here. I haven't decided, I don't have any, let's see, not the blue. I do have another green. I could tie the green in, and this has a green tint to it, so what if I were to go like this, like this, there we go. Okay, so we got large, medium. Do you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swap these out. You guys know me, always <laughs> changing my mind. Okay. And I'm gonna tuck this one under here. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Now, I have that there. And I think I'm gonna do Sherry's. Is this Sherry's? Yeah, this was Sherry's. Pandemic mask. Yeah, Sherry's. Keep reassuring myself. I don't wanna say the wrong name. Here, this one's the wrong color, but this one is the perfect color. And I'm thinking another little male. Oh, look, we can make him hold it. Your little squirrel. <laughs> That's so cute. Hmm, I want him in there now. What if I were to go like this? I wonder if I could take this apart. Oh, look, it worked. It's on foam tape. It's just stuck together like that. Oh, I almost wish it was on this side so I could tuck this in. Because I don't really like that. I wonder if I could... No. Maybe I could hide it under there. Take the foam off. I don't even know how long I've had these, to be honest. Yeah, my trash can. Let's just go like that. Look at that. 
Look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to go here. Right? I think that's pretty good. Now, the question remains, do I want to put more? And I don't, I don't think I do. I think I do want this to show more though. Yeah, like that. I think that's it. Very simple. Awesome. And I used some goodies. There we go. Hmm. Anything else? I'm thinking, don't mind me. My brain's on overdrive. You're going to start seeing smoke. <laughs> oh, if you can't laugh at yourself, what is it good for? Right? You got to laugh at yourself. I think that's, I do like this, but it's just the wrong color. I wish it was a different color, but that's okay. That's all right. Definitely, I think the green was the right choice. Yeah, that would have got hidden in there. I need a little bit of green here. That's what I need. I think that's what's throwing me, throwing me off. Hmm. Do I have any enamel dots? Let's see what I got. What do I got in my stuff here? I have some white ones in here. Nothing really green. Well, this is green, but that's the wrong color. No, 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 it's not working for me. What do we got? I know I need to get a 2021 from when I did these. I do know I want that. And I could put February. Oh, that's, a, that's what I'm gonna do. Where's my scissors? Put some February in here. I don't know where it needs to show. There we go. February um, 2021. Cut these down. Made these in using scraps to embellishments video. I made these. I can link that below. And I'm just going to trim it down to fairly small. I don't think I need to make it a banner or anything. I think what I will do is place that there somewhere on here. Well, I'll make it fit when it goes. Definitely. Oh, seriously. Stay. That little, that little number is bad. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I still want some green up here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm gonna have to find the perfect enamel dot to put in there. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Oh, oh look what's in here. It's pretty close. Like it's, it's pretty close to that. How can I, I mean, it's not perfect but it is close. Just a little piece of washi tape, maybe? No, I don't know. What could I do here? Use it as a cluster base? I mean, it's washi, I can always take it back off. Tuck this in there. No, I don't like that. Nah. No, no, no. It's not working for me. <clears throat> Let's see here. What else do I have? Are any of these the right color? No. There's that gray. I'm definitely going to leave these out because this gray ma matches those. So I could put some of those up there. And I will find this color. I know I have some. I will find this color for up here. And that, that's, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, 2021. Okay, there we go. Maybe put the 2021 on foam tape, I'm not 100% sure. 
Here's my, the sticky isn't working. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> now that I've talked to myself this whole time. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the next um, layout video, I will do layout two and we will have some more fun. Definitely check out Janet's series because this is a fast way of scrapping. Like, I love this. And I have been doing her series, these four by fours, when I get in a stump, oh, I should put the title up on there. Uh, when I get in a stump, I will go back and I will do them again. Like I, I have done some of her series. I think her baby one on YouTube, I've done like four times. I mean, and you don't have to use baby papers. You do not have to use Christmas papers because this is the Christmas one. Her ideas are endless. I wish my brain worked that way. <laughs> All right. So you guys have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Like and subscribe. Come back. And thank you so much for you. Have a good one.